हेलो गाइस सो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल दैट इज एक्सप्रेसिव पेप्टाइड कटर सो बाय यूजिंग दिस टूल यू कैन फाइंड आउट द क्लीवेज साइट्स और द कटिंग साइट्स ऑफ अ पार्टिकुलर एंजाइम इन योर प्रोटीन सीक्वेंस मींस इफ यू हैव अ प्रोटीन सीक्वेंस एंड यू वांट टू नो दैट अ पार्टिकुलर एंजाइम कट एट व्हिच पोजीशन सो बाय यूजिंग दिस टूल यू कैन फाइंड आउट द ऑल कटिंग साइट्स और ऑल क्लीवेज साइट्स ऑफ पार्टिकुलर एंजाइम सो हाउ यू कैन यूज दिस टूल सो इन ऑर्डर टू Access the peptide cutter. Just open your browser, and here type peptide cutter. As you type so in the search result, the first website that is web dot expressi dot org. So just click on this website. Now, this is the home page of this expressi peptide cutter tool. Here in this box, you can either enter the Uniprot ID, accession number. or amino acid sequence in this box so here i am going to add amino acid sequence so i have already downloaded amino acid sequence from the ncbi so just copy your sequence and paste in the box now there are certain options like first is all available enzymes and chemicals so if you choose this option so it will show you the cutting sites of all of these enzymes so you can see there are important enzymes like arginase c proteinase caspase 369 like these so all these are enzymes so if you check this box so it will show you the cutting sites of all these enzyme in your sequence and if you only want to choose one or two sequence enzymes so just check this box that is only the following section and now you can choose any of the enzyme of which you want to see the cutting site so it will give you the result of only that enzyme so but for now i'm just going to perform the experiment for all available enzymes and if you scroll down the next option is that if you only want to see the sites of this chymotrypsin and trypsin so you can choose this option these option like map of cleavage site please select the number of amino acid with one block here it is asking that if you keep it check so it is asking that it will show the amino acid in the block of 16 the one block 60 amino acid will be available you can change it in the second option here if you check it so the table of sites will be sorted alphabetically similarly the table of sites sorted sequentially by amino acid number if you check it and these are the default option because we are going to perform the experiment for this all enzymes and chemicals so this should be selected so as you choose all these settings now just click on this perform button as you click on the perform button so result will be there so first this is that sequence which we just gave to the software as you scroll down this is the information that this sequence contain 541 amino acids and these are the enzymes who cut this protein and these are the main results here you can see that this is the name of enzyme like for example first one is the proteinase enzyme and the number of cleavage means it cut your sequence 24 times and these are the position of cleavage sites like it cut at the third position it cut also cut at the 30 third position it also cut at the 115th position and so on similarly for the next case like endopeptidase so it has 29 cleavage site or cutting site in your sequence and these are the position of those site like position 1 28 31st and so on so if you scroll down so you can see the data of all these enzyme because we have selected all the enzyme so that's why it is showing the data of all the enzyme that which enzyme cutting at which position so you can just scroll it down now in this section these are those enzyme which do not have any cut site or cleavage site in the sequence given by us like caspase is 1 2 3 so these do not have any cutting site in the sequence provided by us now if you scroll down again so this is the graphical summary of all these enzymes these are the name of enzymes and these are the restrict you can say these are the cutting sites or cleavage sites so if you want to know about a particular enzyme so just place your cursor on the name of enzyme and just click like if i click on this one so now it will open a new window in that window it is showing 
द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट पार्टिकुलर सिलेक्टेड एंजाइम अगेन दिस इज द सिक्वेंस गिवन बाय अस एंड दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रोटीनेस के बिकॉज वी जस्ट सिलेक्टेड और क्लिकड ऑन दिस प्रोटीनेस के एंजाइम सो नाउ इन दिस विंडो ओनली द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रोटीनेस के विल बी विजिबल सो दिस प्रोटीनेस के इट हैज टू एट्टी फोर क्लीवेज साइट इन आवर सिक्वेंस एंड दीज आर द नंबर और यू कैन से पोजिशन ऑफ दैट सिक्वेंस लाइक फोर्थ फिफ्थ एट्थ एंड सो ऑन एंड दिस इज द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस प्रोटीनेज के एंड दीज आर द क्लीवेज साइट्स सो बाय दिस यू कैन गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकुलर एंजाइम बाय जस्ट सेलेक्टिंग दैट वन और क्लिकिंग ऑन द नेम ऑफ दैट एंजाइम सो दिस इज द ग्राफिकल समरी विच इज शोइंग यू द क्लीवेज साइट ऑफ ऑल दीज एंजाइम्स नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट a one specific enzyme so like just i'm coming back to the home page and if in this time i'm going to show you that you can only select one or two enzyme like for example for in order to select the single or more than one enzyme if you do not want to select all of these you only want to select few enzyme so just check this option and like for example i am just selecting one enzyme that is proteinase k rest of these options are same so now just click on the perform here again results are there but this time we just selected one single enzyme that is proteinase k so this is the name of enzyme that you selected proteinase k and these are the results like proteinase k it cleaves 284 times within our sequence and these are the position like position 4th 5th 8th and so on so these are the position of its cutting sites so by this way you can you can either see the cutting sites of all of these enzyme or you can see the cutting sites of some selected enzyme so by this you can use this expressi peptide cutter and find out the cutting sites of a particular enzyme within your peptide sequence so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much